Hi there, my name is Richard McMahon from the Interview Training Company and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to pass a barista interview and in particular, I'm going to give you a number of interview questions and answers to make sure you're fully prepared and you can pass your interview. So please do stick around and watch it from beginning to end. Very warm welcome to this interview training tutorial. My name is Richard McMahon, that's me there in the centre, the bald chap. I've been helping people for about 20 years to pass their interviews and I will do that by giving you top scoring answers to your barista interview. Now please do subscribe by clicking the red button below the video and I'd also very much appreciate it if you gave a video a like. That always motivates me to create more content for you. Thank you very much. Now in preparation for your barista interview, we need to make sure that you demonstrate the following skills and attributes. This is how you're going to be assessed. Doesn't matter which organization you're applying for, whether it's Starbucks, Costa Coffee, it does not matter. You have to be able to demonstrate that you can provide excellent customer service, have an understanding of how to resolve customer complaints because they will happen, have a flexible approach to your work and also be able to work flexible hours, have basic numeracy skills and an ability to follow and adhere to food hygiene and safety standards. So those are the core elements that I'm going to focus on when responding to the barista interview questions that are coming right now. So here we go. Question number one. Why do you want to be a barista and what do you think the job entails? So why do you want to do this job? A lot of people just want to do it because they just want to get paid. They're not very passionate about it. But as you and I know, when we go and get our coffee and, and our hot drinks, if the barista is great and they do their job properly and they're passionate about it, you get a great drink and a great level of service. So they want to employ people who are passionate about this industry. Here's my suggested answer. First and foremost, I want to work in a customer facing role where I get the opportunity to make a positive difference to people's days. More and more people are buying coffee and hot drinks and they are choosing their coffee company carefully. So I don't just want to work for any company as a barista, but I want to work for a company who will teach me how to do it properly whilst creating awesome coffee and also providing great customer service. Now I did carry out some research and I found out a lot about the role. The role involves opening the store, taking orders and payments from customers, grinding the coffee beans and making coffee and other drinks to the correct specification. You also have to prepare and serve food in the correct way, in line obviously with food safety standards. Keep the shop clean and tidy, create stock and food displays and also provide brilliant customer service at all times. Finally, you have to be flexible in your approach to working hours and you have to act as a positive role model for your company at all times. So that demonstrates um, that you know what a barista does and also why you want to become one and giving the right reasons as well. Let's take a look at another barista interview question. Why have you chosen our company to be a barista over others? So here we go. Whilst carrying out my research, I found out many positive things about your company that made me want to apply for this position. Now, not only is your coffee and other products renowned for being great tasting and also exceptional value, but you also treat your staff well and other people I've spoken to who've worked for you are very happy in their role. So I want to work for a barista for many years to come. So I see myself being with your company for some time in the future. Now, job satisfaction is obviously important to me. And so is working for a company who have exciting plans for the future. So I've thought carefully about the company I want to work for as a barista. And you tick all of the boxes for many positive reasons. That's a good answer. Give great reasons why you've chosen their company to be a barista over the others that are available. Next question. So this kind of question assesses your understanding of the job description. What skills, qualities and attributes do you have that are a match for a role as a barista? Here we go. Having studied the job description for this customer services role, I believe I have all the skills, qualities and attributes to perform it to a high standard. So, for example, I'm really passionate about delivering quality customer service and care. I have an ability to deal with and resolve customer complaints. I'm able to communicate properly when dealing with customers and also company suppliers or stakeholders. I'm flexible and I can work on sociable hours as and when you need me to. And I'm also loyal and hardworking and I understand how important the customer service role is to the success of your company. So without the customer, there would be no business. So it's important the service I provide is outstanding. So I can be trusted to abide by the drink and food hygiene safety standards at all times, and I'll be a positive role model and employee for your company. So that's a great answer to that question. Now, I've got two more barista interview questions to run through, so please do stick around. But if you want to download the full set that I've created, you can click that link in the top right-hand corner 
take you through to my website where you can have a look at those and download them. Next question, how would you deal with an upset or angry customer? What would you consider when you're dealing with them and why? So pretty much a guaranteed question because you're going to have to deal with complaining customers. It just happens. It's all part and parcel of being in this role. Here we go. So my approach to dealing with an angry or frustrated customer is to listen to them, focus on what's upset them and how we can resolve it quickly and effectively. So for example, if a customer is upset and complaining that their drink is not up to the required standard, then it's obviously my duty to ensure that they receive a replacement drink as soon as possible. Customers might be irate and difficult, but you have to be polite, positive, and resolve the situation quickly and effectively in line with your customer service policies. So it's my job to give them the best service possible, and I'll always follow my barista training and the company customer service values. And that's important to say that bit at the end, so that it's your job to give them the best service possible, but always follow your training, because you will get barista training once you are successful after the interview. Next question, how would you deal with a team member who wasn't pulling their weight? Now, this can happen in these kind of roles where you're working really hard, but you notice other people in the team are maybe not pulling their weight. They're not doing their job properly. Now, obviously, you could say, well, it's just up to the manager. But we want people like working as part of the team to say, look, come on, you know, do your job properly. You're letting the team down, but you have to do it tactfully. Here's my answer to this question. Before approaching them, I would clarify that my suspicions were true. The worst thing to do in this kind of situation is falsely accuse someone of not working to the right standard. So if it was clear that they were not pulling their weight, I would try to approach them privately and discuss their workload. I'd try to express my concern for their lack of contribution in a polite way. If there wasn't a good reason for them not working correctly, I'd try and emphasise how their behaviour was negatively impacting on the team. So hopefully trying to help them see things from my point of view will alleviate the situation. Obviously, if this fails, then I believe it's important to take it to a high level and I'd actually speak to my manager about it. Under no circumstances would I get angry or frustrated. It's important to remain level-headed in situations when dealing with this kind of um, scenario. So don't forget, if you want my full barista interview questions and answers, you can either click the link below the video. It will take you through to this page here. They're perfect for any kind of um, organization, whether, like I say, Starbucks, Costa Coffee, it doesn't matter. I've got my full list of there. I've also put some tips here for passing your barista interview there these five tips and also questions to ask at the end of the interview so you can take a look at those as well i think they're great questions to ask at the end of this interview thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed that don't forget to subscribe um and also um if you've got any questions please let me know in the comments section below the video thank you for watching and i wish you all the best in your pursuit to passing your barista interview thank you